Hello and welcome to Daniel Workshop. Today we're going to, I mean, not we because I don't have a mouse in my pocket. <laughs> it's just me. <laughs> Today I'm going to sharpen a Kai Shun knife and I'm going to use a, a stone, <laughs> wet stone, from the same company. First I'm going to start with the stone, to present the stone and then to present the knife because uh, the stone needs to be soaked. So in the meantime, I put the stone in the water and then I'll present the knife. And then by the time I present the knife, the stone will be ready to be used. So let's start with the, with the stone. We have here a Kai DM0708 whetstone. It's a combination stone. It's a 300 with 1000. The stone had an accident, as you can see. Uh, I bought it secondhand from somebody and uh, he didn't pack it too well so this corner was damaged and I super glue it back and then I use some epoxy to to fill the gaps and of course I've already lapped it so it's uh, <laughs> it's as good as it can be and of course it can be used so like I said it's a 300 with a 1000 the red side is a 3000, 300, sorry, and the, the, the green, <laughs> the blue side is 1000. It's like you say, this came together with the stone and it says it's made in Japan. Proof of genuineness, I think. <laughs> okay, I just bumped the camera and here you can see uh, the links to Kai Europe site. By the way, I'm from Romania, so yeah, that's the reason my my, my English it's uh, not as perfect. So let's get back to the stone. The stone comes like this, uh, 300, 1000, and then uh, it comes with also a rubber support that is very, very similar with the support that comes from the Chinese stones. So probably the Chinese <laughs> uh, use the same, not the same, but a similar design. To, let me show you, let me show you, to, on, on their stones, let me get a Chinese stone, this is a Chinese stone and comes with a, with a similar rubber uh, support. And yeah, I, I went to their site and I meant to, 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 know, to note all the, all the parameters and what it says there. It's a, like I said, a soaking stone it says here that needs to be submerged in water before use. And as dimension, it says 18.2 by 6.2 by 2.8. And on some sites I found 3.2. So let's see, 18.2 is correct. Mm, it's six centimeters. So 6.2, 6.5 doesn't match. Well, probably depends how you measure it because if you measure it with the support is 6.5 and in height is three centimeter. So probably it was 3.2, but after I lapped it, uh, I've lost some of the, of the thickness, but three centimeters is more than enough. So now I'm going to put the stone in water, prepare the, what it's called, <laughs> yeah, the tray, the water tray. I'm going to submerge it and then we will talk about the, the knife and in the meantime the stone will be loaded with water and then we can start sharpening. So, I'll All be right. back. Uh, I've left the stone in water. You can hear it bubbling. <laughs> yeah, the stone is bubbling. I put it to a side and I'm going to talk now about the, the knife. The knife is a Kai Shun, uh, the code is BC0455. Okay, I'll leave it also in the comments. It's a, it's a knife that somebody sent send it to me to sharpen. Uh, as you can see, it's a used knife. I try to, I think it tried to polish it on some felt or something and <laughs> didn't do a good job. So let's talk about the knife. Uh, it's from the line uh, Shun Gold because it has the gold ring. <laughs> I 
yeah it seems that uh, this is their gold and you can see also here gold uh, markings it's their uh, gold line the <laughs> okay it uh, it has also the gold engraving it says here gold engraved logo <laughs> okay let's talk about the you can see it here also bc0455 cobalt uh, molybdenum i think it's uh, let me see what is the material material and i wrote it down the material vg10 hmm it's a uh, cobalt v it's cobalt w v steel they call it but i saw on the site it says vg10 steel and when they talk about vg10 they talk about the the middle of the blade because the blade is actually a sunmai blade and it's a uh, it's made of three layers let's call let's say uh, the middle layer and two lateral layers it's just like a sandwich this lateral damascus pattern uh not it it's yeah damascus pattern layer this is the damascus uh, side let's say the damascus material but they use it only for um, design purpose because the actually the blade that it cuts is the vg10 the ma material the metal that it, it will do the cutting is the vg10 why they do that i already told you in some other movies uh, vg10 uh, vg10 yes has a very very good um, hardness it's about 61 on the rockwell scale but that's make makes it very friable i think is the correct word what, what i mean is it chips and it's very very um uh, it can break so if you make a knife from G vg10 and if you do that yeah you can break it i mean it will shear off so what they do is they put a, a two layers on each side so it makes it a little more flexible so you can't break it and of course let's not uh, let's not f forget about the aesthetics i mean the knife looks impressive and very very nice so like i said it has gold ring it has pekka wood handle but the the handle itself is not as you can see it's not straight it bulges here so when you put it in your hand I mean you can you can hold it very very comfortable any in any uh position let's see about the the uh equilib the point of yeah the middle point is the point of the balance point let's say it's where it should be here towards the handle yeah because if it's front heavy when you will work with the knife you will feel the weight of the knife pulling you down and if it's uh, handle heavy it will be all the way pulled up so it should the 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 balance point should be here on the handle and it's more or less there and gives you a very very nice uh, balance of course they have also the shun uh, marking on the bottom cap yeah like I said, hardness is 61 on the Rockwell scale. Scale blade has 20 centimeter, or it should be 20 centimeters. Let's see. Yeah, more or less it's 20 and a half, but yeah, it's there. Like I said, uh, 32 layers of Damascus. Very nice pattern. Uh, it can be used, they say, on their side with the left hand and with the right hand most of the knives can i mean, not most there are some knives that have here a d d shape that makes it uh, only for you for makes it for the right hand user okay vg10 steel i said that and handle length is 20 uh, 12.2 centimeters overall length is about 34 centimeters okay the knife itself at this moment is between sharp and not sharp i mean it it was used as you can see i can cut paper see here is kind of dull there is a chip there let's see it right there chip another chip another chip 
so it has some chips on the on the blade and the the blade itself was uh, the user told me that I, he didn't know what he did but as you can hear managed to bend the tip so we'll need to repair it but it's not very bad i mean it's just a little little bent so that's the knife we're going to do we're going to dull it first and we're going to use the stone i'll be starting with a 300 side and then i'll be moving to one one hundred one thousand uh, this movie will be made also for my romanian channel so when i'll do the sharpening i'll do it uh, on fast forward and then once it's sharp i'll stop and i'll give you some uh, conclusions so next step will be sharpening <laughs> first thing before sharpening of course we're going to kill the edge just to make sure we got rid of all the burrs all the nicks so we can put a new edge on it Okay, 
I'm done with the with the 300. Uh, what I can say about the stone is that it has a nice speed, very very good speed, but by now you know me and <laughs> you know that I don't like uh, soft stones and it's quite soft. I mean, you can see that it makes a lot of slurry. So from time to time you will have to lap it, but as in speed, has a very good speed. I mean, I can't... I can't uh, argue with that because it uh, I mean it has a very good speed so it's nice to work on but if you if you don't like if you're like me and you don't like the stones that make a lot of slurry it will not be your favorite but all in all all in all very good speed uh, 300 looks to be okay so we're going to move to the 1000 Okay, I've raised the burr, I flipped the burr, <laughs> I got rid of the burr and when I was sharpening I remember which stone has a similar uh, feedback. Cirex 1000. This Cirex 1000, not the other one that I show you, the other one was very very soft. This one uh, works the same as the Cirex 1000. If you want to see how this one works, you can click there. I have a link with some of the videos that I made and uh, I've tested also this 1000. So I presume that this stone is made by Cirex. Uh, what, I, what I didn't told you, I mean you can see my fingers, it works very very fast. What I didn't told you before is the stone this, the 3000, the 300, sorry, and the 1000 doesn't load up at all. Also, this one is a little soft, not as soft as the other one, but it makes uh, very, very nice results. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there is a piece of hair there. See? And it cut hair one from the 1000 without stropping. I could stop now here and strop it 
and get a very very nice edge but like you know I'm Daniel and I can't stop there so I'll be using my uh, King 6000 to polish the edge a little to make it as shiny as possible this is a uh, soaking stone to the King 6000 and I'll be using using it to polish it the edge is mm, kind of hazy it's not it's not mirror polished but it's not bad and it's quite okay very 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 good edge but like I said I'm Daniel and I can't stop there so I'll be back with the with the 6000 What can I say about the Kingstone? <laughs> Everybody knows anything and everything about Kingstones. Uh, one of the most famous stones on the market. I'm not sure if this one is the F3 version. What I know is the 6000. It loads up a little when sharpening, but leaves a mirror and superb polish. And look at this, only from the stone. Only from the stone, no strop. I mean, look, cuts hair like nothing. So I'm a big fan of king stones, not all the king stones, but of the king finishing stones. They are very, very nice, and I like them. And they smell superb. I mean, now the knife cuts like nothing. Show you, I show you, it shaves, and we didn't even polish it so I'm going to clean here and of course I'm going to polish it on a strop to make sure I got rid of all the burrs and of course we'll do some push tests and things like that so I'll be back
Okay, I've done a few passes on a, on a strop by my, made by myself. Uh, trying to see if I can... Yeah, I can. <laughs> to see if I can get on top of... I mean, I'm not touching the skin, just the... There, and you can see I'm getting plenty of my hair on the knife. Uh, after the polish, the the edge is a superb mirror finish. And I mean, <laughs> it should be obvious by now. It cuts like nothing. I mean, let's see. Let's let's see if I can hold it with only one finger, two fingers, and just. Huh. Okay, let's make some people are asking me why I don't test the the knife <laughs> on uh, some uh, food, I mean on some tomatoes whatever whatever <laughs> and my answer is paper is cheaper <laughs> but yeah if you can do this with a knife i mean your knife will be very 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 sharp and i can promise you can cut tomatoes any way you like so that's it for today see you next time uh like i always tell you if it's your first time here click that subscribe button other movies will follow you already have some movies some videos there yeah made by by yours and only <laughs> and uh, see you next time